If you choose to march with a flag that symbolizes the slaughter of millions of people, there are not two sides, unquote. It's a phrase I've seen a lot lately against the Nazi flag. I agree 100%. And since 97% of Native Americans were slaughtered by the U.S. during their history, then surely it must be time for the American flag to be taken down. Or is the slaughter of 40 million Natives somehow less offensive than that of 9 million Europeans? And if America gets a pass on that, then what about the approximately 4 million million Africans who were kidnapped and forced into slavery in order to build early America, thus making the Founding Fathers wealthy landowners. They've never been properly compensated for that. So are we done with the US flag now? Or how about the millions of Americans who have been shot to death by their fellow Americans? Acts defended by a domestic terrorist group wrapped in the American flag while screaming about their gun rights? Or the hundreds of medium-sized and little ideological wars America has raised without provocation or justification against nations all all over the world, each time propping up their symbol of self-determined superiority over their victories, or the thousands of foreign elections the U.S. has manipulated, then sometimes openly bragged about what they did afterwards. Surely all of this is sufficient to say that we can be done with this heinous and systemic centuries-long symbol of hate, intolerance, and aggression now, right? If not, then tell me, where's the line that needs to be crossed before we all finally demand the U.S. flag be taken down? Point it out, and I'll hit the history books until I can show you that they've already crossed it, multiple times, without remorse or punishment. When is America's reckoning? <laughs> On this day in 1957, In God We Trust first appeared on the U.S. paper currency, thus ending the Founding Fathers' idea that church and state would be separated in America. Good job, hypocrites! It's also World Smile Day, International Coffee Day, Kids Music Day, CD Player Day, World Vegetarian Day, Older People Day, and Lincolnshire Day. And that's today's Dozabear Digest. See you tomorrow!